How is it? Some of you and this is why didn't the USSR annex Finland? Short animated documentary by the channel History Matters. I fixed it. Sorry. What? Why didn't the USSR, the largest country, not simply eat the other one? If you want to know why, then watch this short and simple animated documentary. Hmm. Very uncomfortable to say all that at this time, especially, right? USSR annex Finland. Uh, okay, I didn't know that there was a friction between Finland and USSR like that. Uh, but I guess this is about the time of the, uh, you know, about world wars, right? After world wars or something. Hmm, it's going to be interesting. I mean, I was I heard about something here like, uh, you know, friction between Finland and Russia, but I never knew anything about it. So this is going to be an interesting video. Remember, we'll flag my Rickson. Don't forget to subscribe. So I know which type of videos to react to more. Check out the Rickson. There's a link in the description. There are playlists there too with history videos and whatever. And yeah, let's watch it. Finland's position neighbouring the USSR was not exactly a comfortable one. From the days of its independence through World War II and well into the Cold War, there were leaders in Moscow who saw Finland's addition to the USSR as inevitable. Yet, as you'll know, Finland remained an independent state. Which raises the question, why didn't the USSR annex it? So, Finland first came into existence during the Russian Revolution. At the end of 1917, as the government in the Russian Empire was over... Wait a minute, what? Finland wasn't there before uh, Russian Revolution? So what was it before? Was it part of Sweden or something? Huh. I mean, when you see, you know, Sweden, Finland, you, basically you think of them as those Scandinavian countries, right? Well, there's always this charts like one of the top countries in education, one of the happiest countries, isn't that? So it, it, would be, it would feel really weird if it was part of like, you know, so Russia or Soviet Union, right, at the time. But I guess, uh, you know, it became an independent country around the Russian Revolution. So I'm guessing it was probably part of Sweden and not Russia, but yeah. Overthrown by the Bolsheviks, Finland declared independence. Now, Finland wasn't exactly in a good place at this point since it was undergoing a brief civil war between the communist reds and the non-communist whites. Yeah. The whites won and it wasn't long until some Finns wished to expand their new state at the expense of Russia, which was still fighting its own civil war. By 1920, Finland and Russia signed a treaty fixing the border at this. And in the following two decades, things remained fairly calm, if tense. Joseph Stalin, who was now in charge, had for a long time wished to restore Moscow's control over the former territories of the Russian Empire, which obviously included Finland. Which is why, in 1939, after signing the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact with Germany, he sent an ultimatum to Finland. Move the border to here, or face war. Finland chose war. And this war, the Winter War, <laughs> was to put it mildly, not a great success for the Soviet Union. Despite this, Finland. I mean, yeah, I mean, this is where the Molotov cocktail came from, right? Finnish people basically mocked uh, the minister, basically, and named it Molotov cocktail with that, right? Uh, because it was something like, uh, uh, I don't know what was, the, uh, somebody t told me in the comments or something like, they were, you know, they were giving AIDS or something uh, to people, but apparently it was not AIDS, it was like a, you know, bomb or something, right, of raining f bombs or fire or whatever, that was, that's what Russia was doing, so I guess this was to mock that or, or something, like this is a mortal cocktail, I don't know. But yeah, and uh, obviously we know how Finnish people are resilient, right? I mean, white death and all the famous people come from World War II and things like that. Yeah. ...in a position to fight forever, and so it agreed to hand over these lands to the USSR and pay some reparations. And it was only a year later that Germany launched its invasion into the Soviet Union, and the Finns jumped on board looking to claim these lands. <laughs> this war, called the Continuation War, went fairly well for Finland at first, and they pushed this far into the USSR. Now, when Germany's advance stalled, so did Finland's, and by 1944, the Soviets had pushed the Finns back to here. And in this year, the Soviets accepted Finnish talks for peace. Now, they could, with enough men and effort, have conquered Finland in its entirety, but Stalin opted not to. This was because it would have cost a great deal in terms of lives and material, and they were much needed in the struggle against Germany. There was also a concern that annexing Finland would mean that Sweden would become much more hostile with the USSR now on its border. In yeah. the end, Finland had to sign a pretty humiliating treaty. They saw it lose the previous areas that it... And it was that. In the end, Finland had to sign a pretty humiliating... Finland accept that it's totally lame. The user gets more land than it asks for at first. This is learning experience for you. Finland will pay the USSR cash. <laughs> Green cash. Finland agrees not to totally continue this war at a later date. I mean, yeah. Uh, look, I mean, uh, Russia was kind of, uh, you know, was back. Russia's back was against the wall, against fighting with Germany and things at that time. Finland's like, mm, I'm going to take this land. It's like poking the bear, right? That was just good. I mean, you, Russia is a powerhouse, has always been that, right? You don't, you know, poke Russia like that.
the 18 Treaty. This saw it lose the previous areas that it had agreed to hand over to the USSR along with this territory in the north. It also ordered Finland to unban its Communist Party and place the Finnish leaders from the period of the continuation war on trial for war crimes. So it won't exactly shock you to find out that the USSR was not on good terms with Finland when the Cold War was at its beginning. Stalin was extremely distrustful of them and Finnish leaders were, frankly, terrified that the Soviets would make an attempt at annexing them. Some of this stress <laughs> came to an end in 1948 when the Soviets brought them a proposal, a friendship treaty. This did several things. It stipulated that Finland was allowed to remain a free and independent nation, providing it didn't allow anyone to invade the USSR through it. It also meant mm. that officially Finland was neutral, meaning no NATO and no Warsaw Pact, but unofficially it was expected that Finland wouldn't oppose the USSR in foreign diplomacy. So this policy was known in the West as Finlandization, whereby a small sovereign nation bordering a... Yeah, didn't the recently... Was a Finnish people? I think Finland announced that they, they want to join NATO or something. Oh god, I hope this doesn't care more, create more issues, man. Because they created this kind of a treaty, which basically said, like, even though you're not part of USSR or Russia, you basically are going to act like you're the, you know, a defense country or something. You're not going to allow anybody, basically, to set up there that could invade Russia or whatever. And yeah. Superpower does as it's told to maintain its independence, although Cuba didn't get the memo. Now, for all of its derision, the policy did keep Finland independent throughout the Cold War. In the end, the USSR never annexed Finland because it didn't need to. It would also have pushed Sweden into the arms of NATO and lost them an agreeable independent voice in world affairs. I hope you enjoyed this episode oh, yeah, and thank it. you for watching with a special thanks to my patrons James Bizanet, Kelly Moneymaker, Anthony Becker, Lee, Spinning Three Plates, Phil De Oink Oink, Izzy. <laughs> okay, that <laughs> it's hilarious the way he names all those names. Yeah, <sighs> why didn't the USSR annex Finland? I guess they didn't have to, right? They just came with agreement. But it would be really weird, right? If you t today we know Finland is like I said, one of the Scandinavian countries, right? I'm pretty sure it's one of the Scandinavian countries. I don't know, but that's how we see it. I remember watching Top Gear episodes with Mika Häkkinen and things like that, right? You just know that uh, you see it. Basically, it's like Sweden, right? Somewhat. Uh, but it would be really weird if it was part of USSR or Russia, but yeah. But uh, recent uh, developments might push certain people uh, to, you know, make a major decision and that, ca that could create another unrest, I guess. I hope that doesn't happen. Damn. Even the Germany basically decided to create its own military, make military more stronger now, which is like a, since World War II, this is the big decision. But yeah. World is changing in a major scale. We won't see the butterfly effect until very later. Yeah. All right, people, that was why in the USSR and Finland by the channel History Matters. If you like my reaction, don't forget to like, subscribe, so I know which type of videos to react to more. I love history. I like that this is getting fine views, so yeah, I can do more history videos. But yeah, I'll see you next time.